a damsel in distress. Ugh, I need help. That's how I be my man here, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is just here brianne make sure you like comment share and subscribe okay turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me and make sure you follow me on instagram i don't have no followers on instagram but that's terrible like terrible so make sure you subscribe here follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and yeah let's get into what i'm calling like hold on because i feel like my heat is loud oh my mother they ain't gonna really interrupt me like that. Girl, be quiet. <sighs> All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me over the heat. I did have it pumping, but it's gonna cut off in a second. Just just give it a minute. Give it a minute. But basically, as you see by the title, so by the intro, we are doing some updates to my bedroom. I wouldn't even call this a bedroom makeover because I'm really started from scratch. Like, I really don't got nothing going on in this bedroom. It's really bare. And it was the last room that I decided to decorate because I could not set my mind on a concept or a theme but i want to do like white and blacks with splashes of color that probably sound crazy but i got a vision so we're gonna try to bring it to life okay okay boom so right here where you see this plant at i had this plant when i was living at home back with my family and i just brought it to fill in the space until i really put what i wanted to put in that area so i'm probably gonna throw this away Okay, I got it from Amazon, and it's, why, why does it look like it's tropical in here? Like, this, this is unnecessary. So, I'm going to throw this away eventually, and I'm going to replace this with a gold stand. I'm basically going to use this as a perfume rack in my room, but I'm also going to use it to put any artwork that I find up. Like, cute decorative uh, candles, you know, the ones that you don't light. Like the ones that you don't burn, like the real cute ones. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a mini rug under my mirror. Hey, girl. Hey. But yeah, I'm going to put a rug right here just so you could feel like you want to take pictures in front of the mirror. Because I don't take pictures in front of this mirror. It's really like a waste. Eventually, I'm going to get some curtains put up. My bestie already bought me some curtains. Love her. She always thinking of me. But I'm going to wait until my man get here to do that because I cannot i'm not tall enough to hang up no curtain rod and yeah i need to find some cute things to put over my bed and frame them in like cute gold frames i don't know what i'm doing with my tv i kind of wanted to get a new one but there's nothing wrong with this tv so like why would you fix something that's not broken type shit but i don't know but anyways i'm excited so let's just get started with what i do have and then we'll pick this back up when my boyfriend comes back into town all right baby get into the skin because she's she's really looking good right now okay first things first this mirror needs to be cleaned so let's go ahead and handle that because we got to start with a clean surface okay Y'all, what I need to do is really deep clean my whole entire house. So, what had happened was, I was dog sitting for my mom. And her dad went puppy, pee, and shit it all over my house, y'all. When I say all over, oh my god, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? So, my mama claims, claims that she's going to send professionals to come clean my carpet. And... She told me she was going to do that yesterday. <laughs> the day is the next day. What's going on? Like, what's the update? Because if not, baby, I need to go get this stuff together right now. Because I need my house to smell like it how it's supposed to. <sighs> but that little dog really blew me. That dog had the zoomies 24-7. That dog is so attached to me. I can't shit or pee without him following me i kicked him so many times because he like follows me under my feet like i can't even take a full step if like when i walk i kick my feet up y'all like so girl i kicked him in the face on accident i felt so bad but he wouldn't leave me alone he was all up my ass so what do you expect little doggy? but yeah the one time my sister came over she had sat on the floor and took pictures in front of this mirror and i'm like oh 
If people want to take pictures in front of my mirror, I should make the background, like behind the mirror, look real cute and underneath the mirror look real cute. So this is the rug. It is a um it's a yin and yang, but it's also my zodiac sign because I'm a cancer, if you didn't know. And our sign is like 69, but this is like a cuter version of that, right? This rug is huge. So I can literally sit on this entire rug. I didn't expect this rug to be this big. But I think it's so cute. I got it from Amazon. So yeah, the rug is from Amazon. The shelf that I'm putting up is from Amazon. I didn't expect this rug to be that big, but it is. So we're just going to make it do what it do. And we're going to see if it looks cute under the mirror. to like push the mat under as I was lifting the mirror but I think this is a cute angle okay so I like how you can see the black and the white and I already got down on the floor to make sure it looks cute when I'm doing my sitting pictures and when I'm standing up you can still see the reflection of the mat through the mirror and that's exactly what I wanted so I think this looks that looks really cute all right let's move on to doing the shelving I don't know why but I kind of really like putting things together like building stuff I put together my, what's this called, nice stand by myself. Like, I don't know why, but I like building things. As long as the instructions are easy to follow. If the instructions come in motherfucking Chinese, then you can miss me with that bullshit, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I got my handy dandy tool set right here in case I need it. So, yep, let's get started. shelf up i was doing a really good job until one of the screws wouldn't go through the wall so as you can see this side is really secure you can't move it or nothing but this side is wobbly because it's not fully secured to the wall but i think it's sturdy enough for me to start putting up some of my perfumes um and don't worry i don't have many let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Only got twelve perfumes right now, and I feel like that's a good starter pack for someone who's just now getting into scents and fragrances. But don't worry, I'm gonna get my collection up, okay? And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to fill in other spots with candles. Um, what's it called? The little things. The diffusers, the artwork, some colorful pieces. Like, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to spice it up, okay? So, right now, I'm just going to put up the perfumes that I have. So, this one up here is YSL Libre. Saint Laurent perfume. My man got it for me. As you can see, my name was actually engraved into the bottle. And it's it was so sentimental. This is the first perfume he ever got me. And as you can see, I ran this joint up. It smells so good. I got him a YSL cologne before, too. I love YSL sell perfumes and colognes they smell so stinking cute i mean they're so they smell so stinking good and i love the way that the perfume bottles look my current favorite perfume like Giorgio Armani. 
doing his thug thizzle okay my way the intense one smells so good my boyfriend got me this as well which is also why i kept the box because it's sentimental to me this smells so good so this is more like sultry sweet grown smelling this is more like not even flowery i don't even want to spray none i'm gonna spray it on myself because tch, ran through this as well this smells sweeter but it's not overly powering power it's not overly sweet like the power of the sweetness is not overwhelming it smells so good like oh my it's like it's like one of those scents that where you'll smell it and kind of do a double take and turn your head like what is that person wearing now i'm gonna go into hold on I had to adjust the camera real quick because I feel like my head was cut off. But now I'm going to go into my Prada perfumes. I'm so upset about this one. I don't even know the name of this. Milano. I'm probably saying that wrong. This one I dropped on the floor and the top broke. So I need to like really take this to the store and tell them to fix it because was 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 tea like obviously i liked it because it's really really low but um i remember i was going like this year girl because i was geeking like this smells good but it's more of like a, a older scent when i first got it i thought it smelled like a grandma this is definitely a scent that i can't wear completely by itself i have to mix it with something else that smells really sweet and next to it this is the prada um candy lime i used to like prada candy kiss but they got rid of it that one smells really sweet but this one is more of a warm sweet tone um as you can tell usually perfumes that are more brown in color are more warmer and this is the sweetest perfume that i have though i will say that so my two favorites from dossier are ambery vanilla and spicy orchid so ambery vanilla was trying to mimic um why I sell, I believe it smells so good. I also just watched Aaliyah face, Aaliyah's face video and she finally smelled Ambry Vanilla for the very first time and she was blown away. Like she also was vouching for the company because their scents are really affordable. Like this was $39. Um and they smell hella good. They smell just like the, you know, top name brand perfumes that they are trying to um, smell like. And I love the packaging. I love how small the bottle is, but you still get a lot in the container. And then the um, the tops are magnetic. If I have a code still, I'll put it in the description box for you. But it's only 1.7 ounce, and I think you can travel with this. But Ambry Vanilla smells the best. It smells just like that. And um, that's why I'm basically out i didn't go perfume shopping period now spicy orchid i can't wear this by itself i've been wearing it with c by Giorgio armani and that's the next perfume i'm gonna get i only have that in the spray where is it let me go find it for y'all real quick so this is what it looks like see Giorgio armani i just got this spray bottle it's almost like halfway gone y'all and my problem is when i find a perfume that i love i'm a I spray too much. So if you are my friend and you want to give me something from my birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas, girl, give me some perfume. And sometimes if I want to smell on the sweeter side, I'll even do a three, a three piece combo with um this, what is this? The Brazilian crush that I got from uh I don't know if it's called Brazilian Crush or it's called so generia i don't know how to pronounce this girl it's from sephora it smells really good it's the bum bum spray to go with the bum bum cream love this and i heard that the pink one smells like baccarat but i don't i don't know nothing about baccarat okay i don't got baccarat money at the moment okay but we will real soon speaking to existence and i'm acclaiming it yes ma'am carolina herrera i think that's how you say it. is this mad girl perfume i don't know i asked my grandma could i have it jokingly jokingly just because i love the way the bottle is like too cute it's a stiletto period and she said yeah girl i was like <laughs> one thing my grandmother always had was hella um perfumes hella jewelry i inherited all her jewelry and um she had a lot of like not bath and body work she had a lot of like Victoria's secret sprays and stuff i used to take all her stuff this smells like grown woman you own a birkin that's what this smells like Grown woman, you earn a few, you own a few Birkins, bitch. You got you some land, you invest in stocks. This is grown woman shit right here. Like, I ain't even playing. That smells grown and sexy though. And um, 
So does Flower Bomb Midnight by Victor Rolf. I love the way this smells. I picked this up accidentally. I thought I was getting something else. I, I was confused. I thought Flower Bomb was by the Daisy brand that has the big flower. I thought those two were connected, but they're not. And then, if you didn't know, Zara, Zara has really good perfumes for the Kilolo. This one is called Woman Gold. It was the first perfume I ever got from them. It's the only perfume that I've ever got from Zara. I wanted to get the uh, one that Ari White and their mama got. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. I don't need to say it. I can't think of the name right now. But they was I stop per usual. This smells so good. This smells like... This was my favorite summer scent. But I feel like it has a, a, a underlining smell of sandalwood. Like there's, I don't know if it's sandalwood, but there's a woody scent, but it's really sweet. And it has scents of like orange and vanilla. And I love vanilla. This also smells like vanilla to me. Anything with a hint of vanilla is usually a go for me. But I'm kind of, I'm realizing that I'm moving away from the, like the too sweet smelling scents. And I'm moving towards things that have a little bit more depth. This smells really good. This shit was cheap as hell. Like. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. So this is what we got so far. I'm just sitting them up there so I can get a feel for like how much decor I'm gonna need to blend in. But yeah, I think that looks cuter. It feels like it's fuller. It looks fuller. I don't know. This is the vibe over here. This is what it looks like so far. So the next time y'all will see me, most likely I will be on my way to like a bath. Bed Bath & Beyond to get some curtains. I'm going to put up some black curtain rods. I have these things that I need to hang onto my wall. But I can't do that by myself. I can do it by myself. But I just want my man to help me. I'm a, I'm a, what, what is it? Damsel in distress. Uh, I need help. That's how I be my man here, okay? Plus, he wanted to help. He probably going to be sick that I built this by myself. But anyway, I will see y'all next time. Just to let y'all know, I'm a little intoxicated. It's very much so later. And as you can see, the curtains are up. Yeah. But I don't like them. So let me tell you why. They're not full enough. Oh, please just forgot my bed. But they're not full enough. So I'm going to buy two more. Put on this side and put on this side. So they can be a little bit fuller. So when I have them spread out, you will never see the white blinds behind it. Because I don't think that's cute. I think that is a little ghetto. But yeah, and I'm sorry if I'm like not looking in the lens because I was pointing things out. But yeah, I got the blinds. I mean, I got the curtains off of Amazon. And I'm going to link them in my description box down below so you guys can get the direct links. And do know that it is a part of my Amazon, what is it called, affiliated links or whatever. Amazon storefront. So I'll get commission if you shop. You know, yeah. But they're really high quality curtains. I just don't have enough of them yet. So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this bedroom transformation. Stay tuned for part two because I'm not done yet. I have a lot to do. So yeah, I'll see y'all next video.